I'm Laura Jotham, and I, <laughs> stop, stop, you're fine, no, stay, good boy, that's a good boy, yes, hi, I'm Laura Jotham, and I am legally blind. Um, I have no vision in my left eye and about 10% in my right. And to help me with that, this is my guide dog, Watson. <laughs> the idea to go around and talk to different uh, groups, whether it be the Rotary Club, um, UCW, Lions Club, even just um, school groups. Um, I got the idea in my grade 12 year of high school um, because I thought that like not even a whole lot of my classmates understood the rules and it's not that they didn't want to respect the rules they just didn't un they just didn't know. I set out for people to see a how wonderful Watson is in terms of what he does and how he assists me but I've my secondary objective was also not only to educate people about the dog, but to educate people about me and to see me as a person first and my disability as secondary. Uh, the reception has been uh, quite something very special actually to me. Um, it's been very successful and people have really um, absorbed what Watson and I have kind of set out to do. Um, Watson is a graduate of the uh, Canine Vision Canada program at uh, Dog Guides Canada in Oakville, uh, the Lions Foundation. And he went through two years of training before becoming a dog guide and before we were matched as a team. For their first year of life, prospective dog guides are placed with a foster family and they teach them the basic come, stay, um, they house train them. And that little puppy is allowed to go everywhere that a prospective, that a, that a dog guide would get to go. Um, and it's, it wears a little green vest so that the public knows that that dog is allowed to be anywhere. Um, and after the first year of training, that dog is brought back to the facility and um, tested for good temperament and obedience. And if that dog passes that test, it goes on to do proper dog guide training. And once that dog completes that training, then they're matched with a handler. And we've been a working team for four years now. Watson forward, let's go. Good boy, steady. Before I had Watson, I traveled with a white cane. Um, and with a cane, it took me forever to get places because with a cane, Watson, right. it finds forward, all the go. obstacles in your path right. and then you have to navigate around them. Whereas with a dog, the dog completely ignores the obstacles in front of you. The dog completely um, glides through them. So. I'm not afraid to go walking around town or walk to a friend's house um, or I might have been a bit more skittish to do so before just because it was just me and my cane and it's hard to put some trust into an Find object the as opposed to an animal. Find the stairs. Up, up. Good boy. Forward. Yes. Oh, uh, it's not, not bad. How about you? Oh, I'm hanging in there. Good. Hanging in there. Here you go. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. You too. Bye. Watson heel. The automatic assumption is that they can pet the dog, um, but it does say on his harness, do not pet. Watson, no, sit, sit. 
but the general Wait, etiquette of, of a dog guide Stay. is you Good are boy. you are to basically ignore them, um, act as if they're not there, uh, because Watson, even if he's sleeping or on the floor or laying down, he he is still focused on me, and if anyone distracts him from what he's supposed to be doing, that could potentially put me in danger, whether it's at a crosswalk or set of stairs or anything of that nature. 